primary reason why we manage invasive plants in Florida is uh, regarding human health and activities. So that includes things like reducing mosquito pressure for mosquito control, flood control, as well as maintaining access and navigation in aquatic systems. There are a number of different groups in the state of Florida that manage invasive plants. There are state and federal agencies such as Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission or FWC that manage invasive plants, um, the water management districts throughout the state. And there are also private landowners, people who have ponds and lakes on their property. Um, they'll manage invasive plants in those areas, as well as neighborhood groups, HOAs, um, residential areas that have a pond that they want to keep algae and aquatic weeds out of. So there are several different approaches to how we manage invasive plants in the state of Florida. Uh, some examples include biological control, things such as insects that are host specific that only control the spe plant species of interest, or more broader spectrum biological control agents such as a triploid grass carp. Moving on, we also have mechanical control. In those types of methods, we use mechanical harvesters, shredders, sometimes known as cookie cutters, or actual physical hand removal of plants. Next, the most prominent uh, and oftentimes most cost efficient is chemical control with the use of herbicides. We use these herbicides that are federally registered and go through all the toxicological screening and safety uh, precautions to be able to be used in the environment as well as selection based on selectivity for the invasive plant. And ultimately, anytime we get the chance, we want to integrate multiple methods of management uh, such as a mechanical method and a chemical method so that we can bring multiple approaches to the table. The public can do quite a bit to help us manage invasive plants. One of the big things is to help us with prevention, keeping plants out of areas, um, preventing them from getting into new ecosystems or habitats. So for example, if you are out on the boat, um, when you get off of the water, make sure you clean your trailer. Make sure that you don't have hydrilla or some other aquatic weed that's hanging off of that because you can bring that to a new lake and it can start a new population that way. There are also a number of citizen scientist groups that you can join, such as Florida Lake Watch, which is a program through UF IFAS where you can go out on the water and take um, water samples once a month and send that to them. Um, and that group has like 30 years of data on some of these lakes because of all of the help and enthusiasm that we've had from the public. There are also apps like the I've Got One app, where if you see an invasive plant when you're out and about in the field, um, you can take a picture of it. It'll put the location of that plant on there, and then that helps us track the spread of new invasive plants.